Utah woman and Utah senator are teaming up to get some answers. This comes after a group claims they've experienced life-altering injuries that they believe are from the vaccine. While the symptoms haven't been officially linked to the vaccine by the CDC, some are convinced that they're related. Now, I spoke with that woman to find out what she's been experiencing and why she's now asking the public for help. There's no question that the vaccines do save lives. Brianne Dressen is a preschool teacher in Saratoga Springs who participated in the AstraZeneca clinical trial back in November. We all knew that some people were going to draw the short straw. And that includes her. She got her shot on November 4th, and she says she hasn't been the same since. Immediately, within an hour, I had tingling down my arm, and by the time I got home, my vision was blurry and double. But that wasn't all. My sensitivity to sound and light had become so severe that I had to have earmuffs on all the time and sunglasses. She says that's when things took a turn for the worse. So I had this weeks-long neurological decline. Uh, nobody knew what was going on. I called the test clinic several times. Finally, two days later, they had me come in and they did a neurological exam and they said, oh, it looks like you have MS. Her symptoms continued to worsen and just before Thanksgiving, she says her legs stopped working, sending her to the ER. But after running several MRIs, CAT scans, and lumbar punctures, nothing. I spent the next several months of my life trapped in my room by myself completely alone and in silence even the sound of my husband's pants swishing was too much for my ears um, we put towels on the windows trying to make it darker and uh, it was a nightmare. No answers, no relief, no hope. I, I missed out on Christmas. I didn't buy my kids a single Christmas present. Um, I've missed out on months of their lives. She spent months teaching herself how to walk, eat, and form sentences again. All while she traveled near and far to try and get some answers. The hospital didn't know what was going on. None of the neurologists that I saw knew what was going on. She says she's talked with others who are dealing with the same symptoms after getting their COVID-19 vaccines. I want the CDC to do the right thing and communicate with the medical community so these people can get help. And while she calls herself pro-vaccine, she believes the people who are injured are being left behind. We absolutely can have the vaccines and we can take care of the injured. This does not need to be an either or thing. While Dressen was at a research institution in Washington, D.C., she met up with Utah Senator Mike Lee to voice her concerns. And after explaining everything she and others were going through, he, along with Wisconsin Senator John, Ron Johnson, agreed to write a letter to the CDC and the FDA demanding some answers. Now, in that letter, they asked for a response to each of the six questions they wrote out no later than this coming Monday. And if you want to read that entire letter, just head to our website at abc4.com.